Ever look at the stars at night and wonder, are we alone in the universe? We're probably not. Even if we are alone, there are likely many other planets out there we wouldn't mind living on. Astronomers around the globe have been acting like real estate brokers in the past decades, scanning the cosmos for places we could live. They're looking for planets in what's called the Goldilocks Zone, close enough to their sun so that conditions aren't too hot or too cold for liquid water. The planet also has to be similar to Earth in size, so that gravity there doesn't squash us like a bug if the planet is too big, or leave us struggling to keep our feet on the ground, like on the moon, if the planet is too small. Scientists are using NASA's Kepler Space Telescope to look for other Earths. Right now, Kepler is staring at 150,000 stars. Planet-hunting scientists look for a dip in a star's light as planets pass between it and the telescope. They then calculate the planet's orbit and determine its distance from the star. NASA recently discovered three possible candidates using the Kepler Space Telescope. Two of those planets are relatively close, at 1,200 light years away. They're rotating around a planet called Kepler-62, and scientists think both may have oceans. The Kepler telescope can figure out only a planet's size, distance, and orbit. It can't tell if there's actually water or life on it. So NASA is planning to launch TESS, the Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite in 2017, to further refine the search for hospitable planets. Another group of astronomers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics has also been studying the Kepler telescope data. Their hypothesis is mind-blowing. They believe that 6% of the 75 billion or so red dwarf stars in the Milky Way galaxy host planets the same size as Earth or smaller. If that's true, it means that there are potentially 4.5 billion alien Earths out there. So as soon as we can figure out a way to make a moving truck that goes at least half the speed of light, we could pack up and head out.